So, what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here. And this is other Ryan here. And today, we once again have another interesting theory for you all. Now, this one is talking about the possibility of the paper plate on the far right-hand side in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 Party Room 4, belonging to Fred Bear. Yes, now, before we actually get into this theory, guys, we just want to say that a lot of you have actually thought the same kind of thing, and we thought so many of you are actually thinking the same thing that we might as well cover it ourselves. Yeah, exactly, yeah, and I mean, a lot of the community has actually been asking us personally to do this video too, so we think it may be a little bit creditable to actually go through it and introduce the same topic to a few more people, and most of the points we have are very speculative, but all the same, it still makes some really good theories with the recent information we've had, and yeah, we're going to jump straight into it right now. First of all, I think we need to address the elephant in the room. Last time we yeah. actually speculated that this far right paper plate doll was actually uh, Spring Freddy, I believe. Yeah, yeah, so, we did. I think that was because we wasn't 100% sure how many more of these Nightmare animatronics we was gonna see, was we? Yeah. From, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's 3, we had this whole, there will only be one animatronic thing, so Five Nights at Freddy's 4, the connection seemed to be quite apparent just there, but it seems like there was a lot of these Nightmare characters, and maybe whilst this isn't actually Spring Freddy, or it may still be, it may still be a significant yeah. character who actually isn't sharing the same model as this Nightmare guy. So I think the first thing we need to address is that we know that Fred Bear definitely existed before the year of 1987. Yeah, now it's actually the latest teaser trailer, a teaser image, sorry, on Scott yes. Games, which is the Fredbear image at the moment. Yeah. We are speculating that this is Fredbear due to the ciphered code within the source code, and it actually says Fredbear, and we know that this game actually is somehow related to 1987 due to all the 8s and 7s within this source code, so he definitely existed either prior to Five Nights at Freddy's 2 and during Five Nights at Freddy's 2 as well. Yeah, exactly. I think that's what's, that's what's making this theory a little bit more creditable. The fact that yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's 2 takes place during 1987 and now all of a sudden we've seen all of these Nightmare animatronics and now we're even getting hints towards something belonging to Fred Bear's family diner also. And also going back, we've mentioned it in so many videos, the purple animatronic in the back potentially being Fred Bear. There's just so many things which at the minute are clashing but in the newest teaser image we can see this new animatronic definitely has one bow tie and of course the two distinctive buttons along the chest. Yeah, now a lot of you will actually, can actually say that um, Toy Freddy actually has this same kind of image, but we believe that maybe this is from the original animatronics uh, timeline due to the middle Bonnie that we see. It looks very withered and very damaged. Yeah, and I think it's a little bit ironic when you think back that most of these guys seem to be, or at least the paper plates that we've speculated throughout, they seem to be from past pizzerias, don't they? We're speculating that the one yeah. on the left is the puppet, the central is Springtrap, and the one on the right is Fredbear. These guys guys all existed prime. For all we know, they could be linked within Fredbear's family diner in some way or another. Definitely. Now, on closer inspection of Fredbear, well, what we're speculating to be Fredbear on the right, we can see that his hat is actually shrouded in darkness, yeah. and th the only light we see is on his bow tie now. Related back to the latest teaser image, this is actually the same scenario pretty much. Yeah, I mean, isn't it strange how we look back to this Five Nights at Freddy's 2 party room form, we see this Freddy animatronical paper plate doll even on the wall, and the hat of all things seems to be cut out and out of the three paper plates on the wall this is the only one that seems to be having this happen and then in the newest teaser image we don't actually see the facial region of this nightmare character and as well i think the last point we should raise is the fact that also in five nights of freddy's three this freddy paper plate doll also appears within the establishment to the right hand side of your office and isn't it just strange how this guy can also appear there and the only other animatronic a suit to appear in your office is now being speculated to be this purple freddy animatronic it seems to be all fitting almost too well to just not be yeah. a connection. I hope that this is right because it would be so yeah. awesome if it is. I mean, Scott would be so, so cryptic if it, this was correct. Absolutely. And I mean, you know, these paper plate dolls, they've always had this weird ability to move around the establishment, almost like something's still haunting them. And it, it just makes you think deeply. There has to be something yeah. more going on with these guys than we all think. And they can't be the innocent paper plate dolls that we actually foresee them to be. So there we have it, guys. That was once again a another theory for you all and this one was talking about party room 4 again and the paper plate dolls which are all on the wall hopefully you did enjoy this video and be sure to comment down below any of your thoughts on this theory if you guys did enjoy this theory why not leave a like rating down below and if you're new to this channel why not subscribe for more theories like this and also some gameplays so thank you very much for watching the video guys and we'll of course see you on the next one goodbye guys want to see even more content from us Consider liking and subscribing to ensure you'll see all content in the foreseeable future. And hey, why not check out our past two videos?